I got a flush. So I hear you want to learn how to write to these sweepstake websites. You're in the right place. Let me show you how to do it. First things first, you're going to need a notepad four by six inches. Now, some people use index cards, but just keep in mind that it has to be blank. So I get these from the Dollar Tree. I feel like it's easier to write on these. I just write, flip it over, write, flip it over. That's just my preference. Use whatever you want to use, but it's 150 sheets on these notepads. The next thing you're going to need, envelopes. Now you need a specific type of envelope. You need a number 10 envelope. Now, if you go to my website, you'll see that at Sam's Club, you can get 500 envelopes for like $14.95. The issue is they're always sold out. So if you can catch it, buy it. But these ended up being around the same amount. The only thing is these are not the privacy envelopes. So if you want the privacy envelopes, then, you know, get them. But they have to be number 10, okay? If you send in anything other than a number 10, they'll be rejected. Next thing you're gonna need, stamps, all right? If you join our Facebook group, I will leave all the information in the description. You will have access to discounted stamps. Now, like I said in my other video, if you know somebody that does direct mail marketing, they have stamps. If you don't know what direct mail marketing is, just Google it, but just know they have stamps and they can probably sell you some stamps at a discount. That's why I get these stamps at a discount. So stamps, the pad for the inserts, number 10 envelopes, and that's all you need. I'm gonna show you guys four different websites that you guys can write to and Here's the thing, number one, you have to write these letters yourself. And number two, always check for updates, okay? You're already gonna have to go on the website to get the postal code, so you might as well make sure you check the terms and conditions and make sure that there are no new updates or anything like that. Most of the time when you log in, if there's a new update, they will make, a pop-up will appear and they'll make you agree that you actually read the updated terms and conditions. Another thing you can do is when you go on those websites to get your postal code, just click on the terms and conditions and look at the date. If the date is like, you know, the same from when you checked the last time, then you're good to go, nothing has really changed. But if that date is changed, you need to go back and read through those terms and conditions. Another thing that I've seen is like when people live together, like a, a couple live together and they both write, I've heard of different issues with that. Now what I always do is when I have a question, I just email support because support is going to give me the correct answer, right? So I don't go to the forum, unless it's something simple, I don't go to the forums or go to the Facebook group and ask specific questions. You know, I go directly to the source. I will email support and then I have that paper trail just in case, God forbid, something happened, knock on wood, <laughs> hold up, knock on wood. You know what I'm saying? I have that proof that this, well, this is what support told me, you know? So um, when another thing is when you start writing, you're not going to get credited for about three or four months, okay? And this is what it is. A lot of people are saying like, oh, it's because more people are finding out. At the end of the day, it's just like, because I got a lot of hate on uh, my other video where I was showing people, you know, how to do this. And... It was like, at the end of the day, nine out of 10 people are not gonna do it. So why does it matter if one person does it, you know? And then that video, I think it only has like 5,000 views. So what are y'all like bitching about? <laughs> like for real. Like I have it on my calendar to write from 10 p.m. to 10.45. So it's just like, take some time out your day, decide what time you wanna write, you know? And then just write. I only write for an hour. Whatever I can do in that hour, that's it, you know? So I don't really try to overexert myself. So what some people do is they'll write 20 letters a day. And then on Friday or Saturday, send those letters off. You are writing one letter per envelope. So one, this is called an insert. One insert, you will write it, tear it off, 
put it in the envelope. You cannot like have like a bunch of envelopes ready to go, put it in a package and ship it off. No, you can't do that. So you will be shipping off if you write 20 a day, Monday through Friday, you'll be sending off a hundred different envelopes on Saturday or on Friday, you know? Now what's gonna happen is if you are consistently sending in letters, like clockwork, every time they do a drop, you are going to get a credit. But that's not gonna happen until, I'm gonna be honest, two to four months after you start writing in. What some people do is they're like, well, hey, I don't want to, you know, write in a bunch of letters and they get rejected. So what some people do is they'll write 20 letters and then they'll wait till they get credited. And then once they get credited that first time, then they feel more comfortable writing more letters. All right. Now, here's another thing. When I write my letters, I always have a guide. OK, this is an example of what my guide looks like. So when I'm writing, I have my guide right here and I just write, okay? So for example, for Lucky Land, you have the code, your full name, your full name. I have four names, right? <laughs> so I write my full name because that's what's on my license. Whatever you guys have on your license, that is what you're going to have to write. When they verify you, when you send in your bank statement, whatever address and name is on your bank statement, that is what you write. So you write the code, your full name, your email, the email address that you use to log into the sweepstakes sites, and then you put in your address. Now, for example, on my address, on my license, it's abbreviated, right? But on your license, if it says Boulevard, if it says Street, and it's spelled out on your license, you have to spell it out on here. If it's spelled out on your bank statement, you have to spell it out on here. If you have any questions, write support. That is what I did. And they will get back to you and they will tell you everything that you need to know. Then you write this out. That's it. That's it. You write it out and then you send it off. I just, I've been writing to Chumba since that video. Um, I'm about to start writing to Lucky Land. I did write to Steak. Um, they've credited me two envelopes so far. I'll go back and I'll log in and I'll see if they'll credit me. I only sent 20 letters to Steak because people were saying like, oh, they're iffy and stuff like that. So I only sent 20 letters to Steak. So by the power of editing, <laughs> we will see when in doubt email support that's the best advice i can give you once you start writing consistently the drops are going to drop like clockwork look at her and it's so funny because now she's one of our most consistent writers and when she first got in the group you know like everybody else you're new you have questions you don't know i will say this in our group which will be the first group Feel free to join the group. We're friendly. We don't have any issues. If you join our group, like we will definitely, you know, help you and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're being rude, <laughs> you know, I might kick you out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I might kick you out because this is like, look, we're all here trying to help each other. And honestly, um, you can really, you know, just me personally, I use the money to gamble and like when I go to the real casinos, you know, but use the money for whatever you want to use it for and just have fun. A lot of people miss the point of this is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be entertainment. And what happens is when you start like gambling and you are really just gambling and you're depending on this money for, you know, income and things like that, then it's not fun anymore, you know? So when you go into it, just have fun, right? I was playing a little Slingo game, as y'all saw in the video, and y'all, I didn't even go front. I was scared. I was like, oh my gosh, the amount keep going up. It's like, bet, bet, bet. It went from $2, okay, to $5, to $10, to $15, to $20 a bet. Soon I'm gonna be on my D-Lucky-ish, you know? Like, if you don't follow him, Google D Lucky Experience and see 
I'm gonna be on my peach ish. You know what I'm saying? I'm really gonna be at the point where it's like I'm betting hundred dollar, two hundred and fifty dollar hands, five hundred dollar hands. <laughs> But until then, until I get to that point, you know, we're going to stick with the, you know, 60 cents to, you know, $10 hands right now. <laughs> also, here's another thing. With Pulse, you have to use a certain ink. So honestly, that's why I really don't write to Pulse. But everything that I talk about will be in the description. Just click on the link and, you know, get all the supplies you need and, you know, have fun. Just have fun with it. Like, I use my profits to buy my supplies. Also, if you guys want instant payments instead of waiting like two to three days, I will also have a link in the description for um, a way for you to get your money instantly. And yeah, let's go into my computer. Okay, y'all, so when y'all click the link below, this is what you'll see. So you can hit play now and it'll take you exactly, you know, where you're trying to go, right? Um, Pulse, please use this link. Stake, use this link. Global Poker, use this link. Especially Wild Vegas, use this link. So just, you know, use all these links, you know, show support to the channel. <laughs> all right. And so this right here, oh, snap. I got a um, bit on this game. What's up? Okay. Y'all, I got a bit on this game. <laughs> this is what I use to, um, to bet. All right. And so like if you bet on like sports and stuff like that, this is what I use. All right. Now, this is our Facebook group. And then this is Brian Christopher, his group. Yo, and it's so crazy because when I was in Tampa, he has his own slot machine. And I did not know that. I was just like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. I can, like I know him in real life. But yeah, this is his group. Um, they're friendly in that group, but they don't. Um, they don't write letters. So it's like if you ask about letters and sweepstakes and stuff like that, they're going to act like they don't know what you're talking about. All right. And so this is when I was talking about the Sam's Club when I was like, well, let's see if they sold out or not. Let's see. A snap. Hold up. They might not be sold out. Hey, they are not sold out. So and you can pick up. And you can deliver. So, yeah. So, that's that. All right. And then Walmart. And then, you know, you can get stamps here and your 4 by 6 notepads. So, this is everything that you'll need. All right. And then just basically read the rules, y'all. Because the rules change. Just read. Okay. Just read. Go to their website and read. Okay. So, when people were talking about like, oh, why are you talking about this? Blah, 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 blah. It's literally right here. It says receive free sweep coins by obtaining a postal code and sending in a handwritten request. It's literally right here. Okay. So whatever. So you click on that and then just read it. Okay. Like I said before, I always just check to see if anything changes. Like I said before, on the top left corner, you will put the postal code, right? Then you will put your full name as shown on your ID, your email address, the, your address, and then this statement. You put one card per envelope. Like you can't just put a bunch of inserts in one envelope. No, one insert per envelope. And you will mail those envelopes separately. All right. Make sure your handwriting is legible. Oh, here's another thing. I saw like somebody that lived like on the border of Georgia and Florida. They were having some issues with their, with their envelopes being tagged in a different state. Okay. If you live in Georgia and you're traveling and stuff like that. If your ID says Georgia, then you need to drop these off at a post office in Georgia, okay? If you live in Florida and you're visiting Georgia, you cannot mail those letters off until you get back home, all right? So that's, it's in the rules, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you live on like 
state border and stuff like that, there is a way for you to tell them like, hey, these need to be postmarked for Georgia. You have to wait in line for it. So it might take a little bit longer, but if you live, you know, on the border, that's just what you have to do. All right. It is what it is. And in editing, I'll pull it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And yeah, these are the rules. Okay. These are the rules for Chumba, which is the main one that I play. Go to the terms and conditions. It's literally, when was the last date? Update, December, 2022. So nothing has been updated this year. And it's so funny because Lucky Land, I just started playing on Lucky Land a little bit. And you know, they gave me $20 for my birthday. I was just like, that is too cool. Y'all are really trying to get me to play on y'all because I was just like, uh. All right, so <laughs> I did all that just to say read it, but it's right here as far as like the sweep, sweep rules. This is the last update of this was September, 2022. All right, these are the rules for Chumba, okay? If you live in the United States, that's the address to send it to. If you live in Canada, this is the address you can send it to. Oh, I forgot y'all. Here's another thing. If you live in Idaho or Washington or some parts of Canada, you can't play. Sorry if you live, you know, in those states, but so with Chumba, on the envelope, you will write your address and then the word sweepstake credits, okay? This is on the outside left hand of the envelope and then in the middle, you will write, you know, either this or this, okay? And then on the insert, you will write the postal code and then you'll write your full name, your email address, your address, and then this statement. The crazy part about it is like, you're like, oh, it's only two sentences. But yeah, when you writing it, <laughs> it gets long. Like, damn, my, my hand's hurting. Like, yeah. And then it'll show you how to get the, the postal code. All right. And then with post, it's the same thing. Terms and conditions. sweepstake promotional rules and here are the rules for pulse okay with pulse you cannot be in washington idaho or nevada so sorry for those states Alrighty, and this is what you'll need for pulse this is the address and you need a postal code for this. And then you, this is what you'll write. You have to write with blue ink with pulse. That's why I haven't written to them because honestly, like <laughs> I, their requirements, um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I feel like their require, I feel like their requirements are a little bit more as far as like this stuff that you have to write or whatever. But, um, I've been seeing like a lot of people went on Pulse. So these are the instructions for Pulse. Just remember blue ink. It says non-black ink. So honestly, it's just like, I would write them like write support and be like, so can it be pink? Can it be purple? Can it be, you know, yellow? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they say non-black ink but honestly it's just like all right they saying blue so just use blue ink but yeah this is what you will write on um for pulse okay and with steak right here right here right here literally says you can claim your free sweep coins via our daily login bonus races rake back customer benefits mail a request or receive a free bonus when you purchase gold coins so it's literally on all these websites it's literally on all their um 
is literally plain as day on the website. All right, so with state, you cannot live in Washington, New York, Nevada, Idaho, Kentucky, Michigan. I really feel like any place, I guess, that has like a casino, you can't, <laughs> you can't play because it's just like, they like, take your ass to a real casino. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so, and the reason why I'm about to start playing on steak is because they have Baccarat and um, I've been learning how to play that. Okay, and yeah, this is their cold. This is how you do it here. And honestly, just check it, you know, check it before you start writing. You're already going to be on the website anyway, because you have to get the codes for all these websites. So you might as well just check and make sure that, you know, everything is on up and up. And these are the instructions for steak. And yeah, that is literally all you have to do. hamburger on the top left and then where it says request postal code you will just click on that and then it will take you here and yes you have to do all this it sucks but it is what it is you do that hit submit and then that's your postal code Normally what I do is I'll just write the postal code and y'all cannot use this, <laughs> but I'll write the postal code and then write the letter and then write the envelope and then request another one. And then, um, solve the puzzle again. And then this will change. Normally, like when I time it, it's like it changes every five, every five minutes. Okay. All right. So I wanted to show y'all something about like when y'all play on here, but okay. So you see where it says current sweep coin balance is 82.13. I got like, um, $5 from jackpot beauties. Hey girl, I was hoping to see her when I was in Tampa too. I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna see, you know, her or Peach, you know, some of these famous YouTubers. But um, but yeah, y'all. So um that's why, and then like the daily bonus or whatever, that's what this $31 is. So well, I'm going to play. What do I want to play? I like this game, so I'm gonna play this game. All right, so y'all can see, hold on. All right, so y'all can see that this says 50 cent, okay? And usually what I'll do is like, I'll play on the lowest and like just to kind of see, you know, how it's hitting or whatever, but you know, that's it, so. All right, max play is $15 for this. Give me something. All right, five cent. And sometimes I do this, like I'll hit it and stop it. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm talking about when I say that. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But yeah. Okay. I know I normally do it on Chumba. What time is it? It's about to be seven o'clock. That's probably why it's like not really hitting on nothing. All right, I'm gonna play a dollar on here.
All right. <laughs> Yo, I don't care how much money. Yeah, I don't care how much money it is. Like when I win like that, I'm grateful. And I think that's another reason why like I um I um, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I'm just grateful with with every win, you know. I just be grateful with every win. You just got to show gratitude. I be th I just be hoping that make a difference. All right, so now you guys see where the balance of unplayed is 22 and then I can cash out 60, okay? Hopefully that kind of explains it so you guys can, you know, have an idea of what this means. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play this down. All right, so I'm playing $3. I got a flush. So I get one spin with the flush. Give me 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. All right, so that's three dollars. All right, and then stand. And I want, you know. Won that, so I won seven dollars. All right, so let me show y'all again. All right, so y'all see that's 19. Because I played three dollars, so 22 minus three is 19. Oh, <laughs> all faces, all faces, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Oh, uh, it's just a dollar. <laughs> of course. All right, play one more. All right. They playing with me. They are playing. All right, 14. Oh, I got to look, but normally if it's 14 and they have like this. I usually be like, oh, this will be 19 or whatever, but Damn, I'm gonna stand. Yep, and like I said, I just always be like, oh, it's gonna be, you know. I've been getting really lucky. Usually I don't like to record when I play because <laughs> I be feeling like, you know. So I'm like, oh, that could be a 20, you know? So I'm just gonna, I should've, y'all, I should've doubled down, honestly. That's what I should've did. Yeah, definitely should've doubled down. All right, so see that? So now I can cash out 77.98. So I'm gonna, uh, Hold on, let me clear this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. So I could cash out the full, you know, eighty nine ninety eight. Right. So hopefully this explains everything. So yeah, this is how you play. Hopefully I answer every question that you guys have. If there's any questions that I did not answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you are interested in seeing me win $1,000, watch this video right here.